Uh, hello guys, in this tutorial we will be creating a first REST API with GoFiber. So in the previous tutorial we have just uh, print the welcome message on the console. So in this tutorial I am going to do this and uh, I am getting started. So there are three steps uh, for creating a REST API in GoFiber. Create instance of Fiber. Create HTTP handler. Third step is listen on port. Listening the uh, HTTP request on specific port. So on the first, we will create a variable which will pointing to fiber dot new function. When I uh, completed the syntax, it will automatically import on the top. If it did not import automatically, you can manually type there github.com slash go fiber fiber slash v2. It's a version 2. So, next, we will create app.get request HTTP and we will giving endpoint test API. And uh, on the second param, it will take a callback function con contains uh, context. Uh, it will return an error. So here I will return a specific JSON formatted string to the endpoints when it will request somebody to that endpoint. Uh, it will be ctx dot status status would be 200 dot json formatted it could be dot map so it could uh, be the first parameter to be success go find it You can type port there. I have entered 3000 and now I am going to run go run main.go. Press enter. Uh, it will point in you. Click on that specific link and the front message will display that fiber is working properly. So I click on that and it will prompt me that get request. Now if I enter a test API or there because I have created that endpoint and you enter, press enter and the message will be displayed like this. So that's it for the first API in the Go Fiber. And uh, on the next video, I will be creating a proper hierarchical structure for our REST API course. Okay, let's me uh, um, revise what did they did actually. In app, I have created a variable uh, and uh, uh, which is to create an instance of the fiber. And on the next, I have created a handler app.get which will handle http requests and that's the second param is the callback function and the third is returning error if any error found there so in the third uh, step it create app.listen which will listening to that specific code and uh, respond to the server requests so that's it for now we will enjoy having this course ahead and thank you so much for watching